Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with another a Town Hall 10 attack strategy video. Uh, this is one that I just started seeing, and you guys may have seen it for a while now, but since the update, you can now do these mass hog attacks at Town Hall 10, talking 40 plus hogs plus a CC. Basically, you're bringing an entire army of hogs, and you're going to use your heroes just as suicide uh, troops to get some value for you, and you're using uh, skelly spells on the queen. So in this video, I'm going to show uh, two examples, and uh, I'm going to draw out um, the plan first so you guys can see why they were done the way they were done. Then we'll take a look at the replay here. Um, first, a few requirements um, to look for on a base before you do this. Some things that have to be there, otherwise this won't work. You need a CC that has a golem or a uh, hound and like a loon. It can't be anything that does a serious amount of damage. You can't have baby dragons and valks and wizards. Um, it can be like a small CC, like archers, if you can poison it. But you want to look to do this if it's a hound loon or golem loon. Uh, especially. Those are the best clan castle compositions. Um, the other things you want to look for, by the queen, you can't have any multi-infernos because they'll typically kill the skelly spells. You can try to have the hogs take out the multi before you drop your skellies, but that makes it tricky because then the queen's going to be standing there taking out hogs until you can finally drop your skeleton spells. So typically single infernos or multi-infernos that are far away from the queen. Um, bomb towers are okay, but you don't want to have too many bomb towers or wizard towers by the queen because they can also take out your skeletons. So you need to have a an easy way to take out the queen with those skeletons. We'll talk a little bit more about that once we start the replays. And the base has to be relatively square slash circular, so it can't be some weird long design. Typically, you want a pretty normal base design that has an even distribution of defenses, makes it easier for hog pathing. So let's talk about how exactly you want to do this. Um, you can see this first attacker taking on a pretty much a maxed Town Hall 10, um, besides the walls, which aren't that important for this attack, and besides a few cannons. Um, he's bringing only four heals and two poisons, two skellies, just to make sure he takes out the heroes and the um, the uh, CC troops. So what he's going to do is he's going to use his heroes just for some defensive value. You want to drop them in a place where they'll get defensive value and they will get a good funnel for your hogs. So in this case, the base is very wide across here. So he's going to drop his uh, his heroes over here, take out some uh, defenses here. I think a Tesla might pop as well, which will do two things. It'll give him some good defensive value, stuff he wants to take out. I think he might even get this wizard tower as well. Um, and he's going to drop his hogs in kind of just a wall. You want to spread out your hogs. Don't keep them um, too close together. It's You're going to be using heals on different groups. It's not like a typical hog attack. You're going to have them spread out almost like miners. So you, you heal different groups because you have four to five heal spells. You can afford to spread them out. So it's not going to be typical hog deployment. You have to cover more of the base at once. Uh, so you can kind of overwhelm all the defenses. Then they can eventually meet up under one heal is the idea towards the end of the base. Another thing to notice is just like a minor attack, he drops his queen, but then he drops the hogs almost right away. That way the queen stays up the entire attack. So you want it to be simultaneous. Don't suicide your heroes and then uh, have to worry about dropping the hogs after your heroes are dead. Do it at about the same time. And then uh, poisons for the CC and uh, skellies for the heroes. I like bringing the four dark spells because that way he ensures he's going to take out the king, the queen, and the CC troops, um, at least all the important CC troops. I think there's a balloon in there. The hound or the golem don't matter. So let's take a look at the replay, then we'll take a look at one more attack after that. So here is the attack. It's by Cold September Paul CS. I am going to show a few hits on our bases, which I don't do that often, but I, I definitely do it when there's good attacks that just need to be shown because they're new strategies that I think you guys should know. Um, so anyway, like I said, dropping down the king and the queen, going to get a Tesla, two archer towers, and I think the queen will wrap around, get the wizard tower and mortar, um, drops a wizard and a hog, and then here it goes. Mass hogs around the entire base, spread them out very far, like I said. It has the CC on the right side there of max hogs. And then, nice and patient, drops the poisons and the skellies. Those will deal with the king, the queen, and that CC loon. Um, if you're able to take out the king with your heroes, sometimes you can get away with just one poison and one skelly. But if you have to deal with CC troops and both heroes, sometimes it's a good idea to have two skellies and two poisons to make sure you kill both the CC 
loon and the heroes uh, because that's very important. Hogs just absolutely wreck this base. He just kept them healed up through the base. Use your heals as you see fit. Typically, you want to heal a little earlier rather than later, but have one more heal for the back end because oftentimes there's going to be one giant bomb that could hit an entire group of hogs as they start to clump up on the back side. You can see the queen is at full health with her ability. That's the benefit of dropping the hogs um, a little bit um, earlier is that the queen will stay up and she can get better defensive value. She will lock onto the hound eventually. That typically is what happens, but that's a small price to pay for having her get much more value than she would otherwise. The skellies also take out the internal stuff, which is nice. You don't need a miner. Um, this attack doesn't take time anyway, so don't worry about time. Just a few, like a wizard and a few archers for cleanup is fine. You're either going to have hogs or you're not going to, so cleanup's not going to be an issue on this one. You just got to make sure you take out the base. So nice hit there. Um, let's back up and take a look at another base and then that last attack. Okay, so here's the last base. Um, you can see, as we talked about in the requirements, where well, you can't see the CC troops, um, obviously, but it, I can tell you there's a golem and a balloon, so it definitely fits the CC requirement. Also, no multi-infernos, no wizard towers, no bomb towers by the queen. The bomb towers and wizard towers aren't deal breakers. You can still do it once they get distracted with hogs, because you drop the skellies as the hogs are moving through. But it makes it even easier if it's just point defense by the queen, and you can see in this case it is. Also, the king is exposed enough that he's able to use his heroes to, I think he drops them, they, then his king on one side, his queen on the other, just to take out those exterior archer towers, and his queen and his king will also take out the defensive king. Because um, the queen kill is going to be pretty easy, considering there's no uh, splash damage by her, and because he takes out the king, he only brings, as you can see at the bottom here, one skelly and one poison, which you can get away with doing if it's going to be easier to take out those defensive units in the base, which it obviously is here. The base is a little bit more narrow going north to south, which means the funneling isn't that important. He just has to spread out his hogs once again and um, keep them healed. With five heals, you can afford to spread them even more. Um, if you have less heals, you have to you know, make sure they're somewhat close together, otherwise you'll waste your heals on different groups too early. But with five heals, you can really spread those hogs out, uh, make sure that you cover defenses pretty much simultaneously so you don't you don't want your hogs in one big group running defense to defense that's really inefficient you want them spread out working on multiple defenses at a time because all you need is about a group of eight hogs and they can go through defenses very quickly anything besides that's just overkill and it doesn't efficiently uh, make use of the hogs while they're in the base taking damage so that all being said uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this attack all right, so here we go. He does have some cleanup troops, has some minions. I actually kind of forget how he uses the minions. We will see in just a moment. Um, but drops the queen down, drops the king down. Going to split them up here. But if you look at the range of the defensive king, it's pretty clear he's going to engage at least one of those heroes, uh, which will take him out because the king can be an issue for sure against hogs. So if he's otherwise going to be alive, you got to be careful. A level 40 king is pretty powerful. So you either want to get him with your heroes or take him out as part of the queen kill with an extra skeleton spell and just bring four heals and two poisons. Uh, you don't want to leave the king up if you can help it, um, but there are exceptions, of course. So it gets good defensive value and gets the uh, defensive king taken out. Here come the hogs going straight at that uh, queen there. Nice spread coming at the base from all sides. You don't have to spread them. You can do like a three-finger drop. Just make sure they're on different defenses that will keep those hogs spread out. First two heals are down. You can see how late he waited for that queen kill with the skellies. You don't want to do it too early. The queen will take out a few of your hogs. It's fine. You have like 40 to 50 hogs. The important thing is that you make sure, especially if you only have one skelly spell, that there's no defenses and that you're going to drop it in the right compartment because if the queen were to hop the wall into the, this compartment where her altar is and you drop the skelly spell by the king altar, you're in trouble because they're going to have to get through a wall, which a skelly spell can't do that efficiently. So you got to make sure that you drop it in the right compartment and if there's no defenses, they're going to be a big issue, especially when you only have one skelly spell and especially when you have to drop the poison on the balloon, meaning you can't poison the queen. But a max skelly spell can take out a queen 
even if she's not being poisoned, just make sure you do it, like I said, um, in the safe condition. Has these last few heels. He actually reinforced at the bottom with the CC, you can see right there. So sometimes you wanna wait on your CC if you don't need the uh, additional hogs at the beginning. Wait on the CC, see where you're weak on hogs and drop it accordingly. That's what you'll see sometimes Town Hall 11s do when they're using miners. They'll wait to drop those CC miners and use it to reinforce where needed. So keep that in mind. Uh, the CC golem is not an issue until the hogs start attacking it. So it will kill a few hogs typically. It's like hitting a giant bomb when that golem explodes. You gotta be a little bit careful, um, but typically if you have hogs left up at the end of this attack, it's not gonna be an issue. Now he brought the minions for the buildings inside the base. He doesn't have as many skellies so that they can't really take it out that efficiently. Don't need that much cleanup troops typically. I'd say just a few minions, few wizards, few archers, like I said, that'll do it. Uh, time's not a big issue on this one because it's basically you're dropping all your troops at the beginning. So it's it's pretty much either going to be a three star or not within about two minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds or so. That'll do it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you find it helpful. And if you're a Town Hall 10, look for certain bases uh, that fit the requirements that I talked about earlier in the video. Look for those bases to try this out on because there's a lot of room for error and it's going to be more reliable in some cases than a more uh, precise type of Laloon attack or something that takes more precision and is um, open to more small things messing it up. This is kind of an overpowering attack that might become more popular. If you do want to defend against this, a few good things to do. Uh, put your infer at least one Inferno on multi by the Queen. Now that is a big investment, so you can do it um, in a better way to defend if you don't want to have to do that. It's just put a Wizard Tower and a Bomb Tower somewhat near the Queen. Make it harder to take your Queen out. That's going to be the key because this attack depends on the Skelly spells taking down your defensive queen. So if you can prevent that, it's gonna be very difficult to use this attack on your base. That will do it, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.